Hi, I'm Dina Sporl, and for each production, we try to create a unique and engaging experience in our lobby, one that connects the audience to the research and writing of some of Chicago's finest dramaturgs. What exactly does a dramaturg do? Dramaturg takes care of the soul of the play. I like to think that they sort of see you through the life cycle of the play. Making sure all of the pieces fit together. There's historical context dramaturgy, cultural dramaturgy, world building dramaturgy. At Timeline, the dramaturg is a central part of answering that question of why this play. We're choosing to do it because we think it has relevance in this current moment. It, it, it means something. There are questions that we as a society need to examine, and this play is a tool to help us do that. You know, Timeline's already a place where you often walk across the stage and through the world to get to your seats to begin with. The interactive lobby experiences at Timeline are one of my favorite things about working there because it gives me a way to explore the play in a tactile way, which is really rare for us. One wall honor women scientists from all over the world, different time periods. And on the opposite side of the lobby, it was a giant uterus and it was interactive. So you could name the parts. <laughs> and we had a, a whole wall of information about the Freedom Riders themselves. Ron O.J. Parson actually has family connections to the Freedom Rides. It was really powerful. Most recently working on Kill Move Paradise, we had this beautiful moment memorial wall which celebrated those who have lost their lives to police brutality and police violence in America over the past decade. I loved seeing the curation of trans artistry for boy and the fact that trans artists could come in and take over the space. We made a bedroom that we split in half and the idea there was just to get folks thinking about what are the gender norms that I've never really thought about that are now going to be put on display here. My favorite ones to work on were always the lobbies that were part of the world of the show. When we did The Price, you were walking into the attic where the show took place and surrounded by the furniture. When we did Blood and Gifts, you were very much on the set from the moment you walked in the door. And in fact, the desks that the characters in the show would have sat at were part of it. Raisin in the Sun was another one that became the hallway outside the apartment, including sounds from the other apartments as you walked by. You know, one of our first shows that, that we did that with was Tesla's Letters. Janet was in the lobby as the curator of the Nikola Tesla Museum. And that was something that we sort of brought back again in a different way when you could see the boys in their room and history boys. Being able to create this world that the audience can walk into that is the world of the play. So all of the research that you've done can be in that lobby for your audience to understand the play in the same way that you do. One of the things that makes dramaturgy at Timeline especially amazing is that dramaturgs are sort of a, a position that's held in high esteem in a way that I have not encountered anywhere else. It's a theater that I always will return to work to, to tell stories, precisely because it is treated as a design element. You know, you're really just this in-house information designer and collaborator. That is what Timeline is, right? It offers these tiny little brief moments of magic that really share what the soul of the play is about and how history can inform that beating heart.